Hi everyone, welcome to my video where today we're going to be talking about the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is a special formula that we use to solve for missing sides of a right triangle. It says if triangle ABC is a right triangle with legs A and B, so the legs are the two sides of a right triangle that create a right angle, and hypotenuse C. The C is the hypotenuse, it's always the longest side of a right triangle, and it's always the side that's directly across from the 90 degree angle. This little square here in the corner we know is 90 degrees. You've learned that quite a bit ago. But in this triangle, which is a right triangle, I've got my right angle, again, made from A and B. A and B are the legs. C is the hypotenuse, which is directly across from the right angle, and it's always the longest side. So here's our formula. It's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I'm going to be able to use that formula to be able to solve for missing side lengths that I see in these triangles. So in my first one here, I'm given two legs, three and six. Now it doesn't matter which leg goes in for A or B, but what does matter is that we always make sure the hypotenuse goes in for C. So here I'm going to call three the A, so three squared, plus I'm going to fill in six for B, six squared is equal to C squared. Three squared. Square nine, six squared is 36. We're gonna add those together. Nine plus 36 is 45, and 45 is equal to C squared. Now, to solve for C, we know the opposite operation of squaring something is to take the square root. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the square root on both sides. And the reason for that is we know taking the square root of a squared, they're opposite operations, they actually cancel each other out. Now the square root of 45, we're simplifying radicals. What's the biggest perfect square that goes into 45? It's 9. So this becomes radical 9, radical 5, which is really just 3 radical 5. Awesome. Let's take a look at this next one. Here I've got a leg of A, a leg of 5, and a hypotenuse of radical 45. So A stays A. I'm going to solve for that missing leg. B is 5. And my C is this radical 43. Now, radical 43, when I square it, remember what's going to happen here. This is kind of interesting. This becomes A squared plus 25. And then the square root and squared, we know, cancel each other out. So it's just 43. We're going to go ahead and subtract 25 on both sides to get A squared equals 18. We know the opposite of squaring something is to take the square root. And now radical 18. Biggest perfect square that goes into 18 is 9. So it becomes radical 9, radical 2, which is really just 3, radical 2. Next one, we're going to solve for this leg B. So my 10 is my A and my 12 is my C. And I know 12 is C, guys, because 12 is the longest side of my triangle and it's opposite of my right angle. So 10 squared plus B squared equals 12 squared. This is 100 plus B squared equals 144. Subtract 100 on both sides. I get B squared equals 44. We know the opposite of squaring something is to take the square root. That just leaves me with B equals. Now, biggest perfect square that goes into 44 is 4. So this becomes radical 4, radical 11, which is 2 radical 11. Last one. We're given two legs. We have to find the hypotenuse. So radical 5 squared plus 2 radical 3 squared equals C squared. Now, radical 5 squared, we know the square root and the squared symbol cancel each other out, so we are left with 5. Now, watch closely with this. You square the 2, and then you square the radical 3. So, 2 squared is 4, and then the square root of 3 squared is 3, because the radical and the square root cancel out. This becomes 5 plus 12 equals C squared. C squared is 17. We go to take the square root, and 17 can't be broken apart, so it's simply radical 17. Awesome. Now, after we use the Pythagorean theorem, we can also find triples. Triples simply mean that they are non-zero whole numbers, a, b, and c, such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. For example, 3, 4, 5 is a triple, because 3 squared, which is 9, plus 4 squared, which is 16, equals 5 squared, which is 25. And any multiples of those, so if I double it or triple it, these will also work. 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. 9 squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. So these triples, 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 
8, 15, 17, 7, 24, 25. They're all examples of facts that work. If I plug them in for A, B, and C, they'll give me a true statement. And anything, if I take this triple and I multiply it by two, that will also work for the Pythagorean theorem. If I took this triple and I multiplied it by three, that will also work for the Pythagorean theorem. That's what a triple is. So now it says given, determine whether the given lengths form a right triangle. So if I was to take four, seven, and 11 and plug those into the Pythagorean theorem, does four squared plus seven squared equal 11 squared? Well, take a look what happens. It becomes 16 plus 49 equals 121, which definitely does not equal each other. So the answer would be no, those could not be the sides of a right triangle. If I took the next ones and I plug those in, 21 squared plus 72 squared equals 75 squared, I do actually get the same answer on both sides. And then yes, and this is actually a multiple of the triple, 7, 24, 25. If I do 3 squared plus radical 10 squared equals 24 squared, 3 squared is 9, square root of 10 squared is 10, that definitely does not add up to 576. And the last one, 9 squared plus 2 radical 10 squared, we want to check does it equal 11 squared. So 9 squared is 81, we square the 2, that's 4, we square the square root of 10, which is 10. 81 plus 40 is 121, and yes, it is a right triangle. This last problem, when you wanna go buy a TV, TVs are always measured by the diagonal, not the horizontal. So it says here, if the diagonal of this TV is 52 inches and the width is 40 inches, what is the height of the TV? Round to the nearest tenth. Now, so far in this lesson, I've only dealt with radicals, but when we're dealing with a word problem, we do wanna actually use our decimal values. So to solve for that leg, it would be X squared plus 40 squared equals 52 squared. 40 squared is 1,600, 52 squared is 2,704, subtract 1,600 on both sides. We would get this x squared equals 1,104. Let's go ahead and take the square root. This would then just be calculator work, and you would get approximately 33.2 inches. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.